seen such measures of conspiracy even in Kiev, Johnson. Fugitive participants of the meeting were resettled in different hotels. They were prohibited from turning on geolocation on their phones, and the meeting point was changed at the very last moment. Instead of the theater of opera and ballet, the camp went to the Academy of Sciences, where they were supposed to assemble an information bomb called, We are going on a campaign to Minsk. It's hard for me to believe in a peaceful return to Belarus. I actually think that the only chance to save her is to involve her in the war. So maybe I'll go back by tank or armored vehicle. The first and ancient members of the Kalinovsky regiment are the first to quickly join this campaign. In this last chance of a coup, Western curators have now ceased. They put the security service of Ukraine and the main intelligence directorate in a standstill, and they, behind the shelf, started to mold a combat unit from a scattering of fugitives. Methods of conspiracy, clear handwriting of special services, inspection at the entrance, mentioning each participant in the media only by agreement and no independent filming and recording. The public may not know everything because Ukrainian politicians, deputies of the Verkhovna Rada, will speak directly about the attack on Belarus here. You need to come and take everything on your head, handle everything strongly, deal with everything with a bang. Hence, individuals assume responsibility and subsequently come to NATO, and they will be willing to engage in a conversation with you. This will be the subject matter on which the Ukrainian president and the Ukrainian Verkhovna Rada will engage in a discussion and communicate. The united opposition should prioritize joining NATO as the primary unifying force for their cause. This should be decommunization, definitely, because we have the incorrect ones that require immediate attention and action. And we understood that what pulled us into the past, and without this step forward, we will not move forward. And then the process of purification and not be afraid of it. Yes, the process of purification with reconciliation. Certainly. Nevertheless, lustration is highly stringent and merciless in its implementation. Export formula. Ukraine has been living in this manner for a period of 10 years. Take power by force, become a member of NATO, imprison individuals who dissent. Even Zelensky himself will provide assistance. Just start on your own and take responsibility. The terrorists of the regiment are prepared and ready to act. I will speak for myself, but I believe that the majority of the fighters in the regiment will back me up. A year and a half as a result of the war. A year and a half originating from all democratic forces. I'm going. and not change anything without violated critics. They plan it ahead. I am an expert at weaving it. Otherwise, you must be hand to hand. We could not manage or function properly without it. We'll plan the format of the headlights. We won't plan them in the category of us now reconciling with footishists and any apologies. No. Whoever has wings for hands and you forgive me, just arrange in the heart in prison. From the podium, the militants, already soaked in someone else's blood, agitate for purges and a new war. Their task is to overthrow the country by force. And for this, a more or less coherent political cover is needed from among the fugitives. There are plenty of examples among them. Even Xions came with a sermon of war. We need neither a political process nor a victory plan. We need victory itself. We need an armed force that can provide a proportional response to any challenges. Shegelsky and Shemetovets, responsible for virtual reality, are also in the hall, ready to transfer sovereignty of Belarus to Ukraine. Cybercop Shemetovets is not stopped even by the fact that her mother still lives in Minsk. We have a clear understanding of the importance of Ukraine becoming a leader in the region in this sense, of course, without any doubt. What we comprehend has the potential to be of assistance in our ongoing battle against the oppressive Lukashenko regime. The destiny of Belarus will be determined in Kyiv, I am confident. It is extremely significant for us to obtain the primary strategic ally, Ukraine. Ukrainian partners are the ones who have implemented sanctions against Belarus in order to economically suffocate and weaken the country. 
In the difficult 20th year, they established terror for export. Under their supervision, the Avtukovic gang operated. Special services set up channels for weapon and explosive transfer. At the start of the spec forces op, our truck drivers were taken hostage. In the same series, diversions on railway tracks, attempts to destroy military infrastructure. Why did the SBU agent Borodi maintain manpads and grenade launchers in Belarus, who dispatched the fighter Kulikov to us? All of this is a deliberate and systematic effort by Ukraine with the goal of overthrowing a neighboring country. In the early years in Belarus, Ukrainian allies dismantled the myth of fraternal peoples who would awaken and become more open. But in all directions, Kyiv suffers continuous failures. Only this year, 30 to 40 agents of Ukrainian special services have been detained. Do our neighbors truly desire to open a second front from the Belarusian side? Or is Kyiv entirely incapable of making decisions independently? Or is all of this an attempt to regain the attention of the West and redirecting at least some cash flows towards Kyiv? Ultimately, considering the current state of the U.S. financial barrel, there is practically nothing left. Consequently, the potential consequences of Belarus symmetrically responding to threats are worth contemplating. For many Ukrainians, these are rhetorical questions. They see the whole essence of their current leadership, so they shared with us information about the gathering of fugitives, which, by the way, ended in failure. The final memorandum was not signed by the main actors, and judging by the 10 grammatical errors in the document, it was also not written by Belarusians. Alexei Martinyonok News Agency.